Hello and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is June 30th, 2021 and I wanted to show you that the, I believe it's pronounced Osheba La France Carnation has bloomed. Now I was trying to get these to bloom for Mother's Day. They were started back in November, uh, November 20th, but um, the heating system in the greenhouse was underrated so the plants weren't growing the best. Um, I did a video on my channel for that where I explain what happened and I also have a video on my channel for how I transplanted these and for how I started them from seed. So you can check those out. But they did start blooming for me. It's an absolutely gorgeous bloom. It's like a shell pink with like some whites in it and you can see there's like some different shades of pink in it. So this is what the plants look like. You can see they have really grown. They're loaded with blooms. Now this does get fed with a 153015 bloom boost and I'll put a link down in the description for that. And these are also fed with Sea Magic, which is an organic product, and I'll put a link down in the description for that. Now I've been using Sea Magic for many years. Um, I did uh, my experience, I did a video with my experience with using Sea Magic on my channel, so you can check that out as well and uh, find out what Sea Magic is. But this is a beautiful flower here loaded with blooms. It has many. It has another bloom here on the side. So to me they're pretty heavy blooming plants. They do have a fragrance to them. They have a strong cinnamon fragrance to them. If you want them to have more of a cinnamon fragrance, hold back on the water a little bit but don't let them wilt. So right now this one here is growing in the greenhouse and I've been keeping my soil moist but I don't want it soggy. So I have really good drainage on these to uh, ensure that the plants, you know, continue to keep growing. They have beautiful blue-green foliage here. And the, I believe it's pronounced Osheba series, has a lot of different color flowers in it. I wanted these for my mom for Mother's Day. So I know it's past Mother's Day, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting these and I'm going to be creating a little bouquet for her, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Now, your carnations do like full sun, so you want to make sure you have them out in full sun. Well-drained soil, and if you continue to remove the spent blossoms or you, you know, continue to cut them, they will keep coming back and giving more blooms. These are pretty full plants right here. We had a mouse got in the greenhouse, and it was eating my carnation seedlings, so when they sprouted back out, they created even more side shoots on them. It did delay the blooming, which made it even later for it to bloom, but they still did bloom for me. So I have my pruning shears here. My pruning shears are nice and sharp. Now my my vase or my container isn't um, too big, so I'm just gonna snip right above these two. You see the side shoots over here and there's a leaf over here, so I'm gonna cut this right here. Oops, there we go. And I have this here. I didn't see that side shoot over there, but I would have taken it off anyway. So that's just going to kind of give it a little extra thing there to look at. Beautiful, beautiful flowers and a wonderful fragrance. So this is the finished bouquet that I designed up for my mom. Now, I recut the stems on a 45 degree angle before I put them in uh, I used a little jar here and that's a recycled jar and the reason why I cut the stems on a 45 degree angle is it's kind of like if you don't cut the stems on a 45 degree angle and you put them in your water and it goes down and touches the bottom of your vase or your container the stems won't be able to pull the water up through so by cutting them on a 45 degree angle that allows the stem to be able to uptake the water, which is exactly what we want. So I used reverse osmosis water to uh, water any cut flowers with or to fill the little container up with because if you have like a salt system on uh, that you run your water through to make your water soft, that is a very negative effect on cut flowers. It also has a very negative effect on uh, your potted plants. So that is something you want to take in mind if you have a salt system 
on uh, for your water. So I used my carnation for the center. I used some status, some winged everlastings, a silver drop eucalyptus, the stem of that, and I went out to the woods and I got some ferns. Now one thing, if you're um, new to like collecting ferns from out of the woods, uh, watch out for snakes because they can be around the ferns. So uh, just make sure you watch out for those when you're cutting your ferns. And whenever I harvest something from outside, like from the woods or something like that, I always leave more than what I take. So um, we have some pretty good patches of ferns in the woods, so I just took a few of them here to put in the bouquet. So I just wanted to show you here the finished results. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that ties up put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!